Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am recording the Clean Girl makeup tutorial. If you'd like to get this look, please stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one. To me, the clean girl makeup look is very effortless, um, it's very clean and refreshing and it just has you feeling very mentally prepared for the day. To begin this video, I'm just going to be using my NYX dual brush and I'm going to be brushing my brow hairs in an upwards stroke. Now that we've brushed out our brows, I'm just going to be doing some light upward strokes in my brows. Um, this just gives it more of a defined look. My eyebrows personally are very thin, especially at the front end of them. So I do just fill those in a little bit more and then I'm just going to lightly fill in the ends. Now that my brows are filled in, I'm just going to go on with this NYX brow glue. Um, I do find that it does give you a good hold. This is probably about my fourth time using this. Um, it's not my everyday use, but so far I do like this product. Now I'm just going to use this brush to brush these brows into place. I don't like the look where my brows are just scattered all at the top, so I'm just going to give them a little shape by brushing them down back into my natural brow line. Now I'm just going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Biscuit Medium Dark. I'm just going to be placing this in the inner corner of my eyes going down and then I'm going to leave a little bit of a space in between and finish that at the corner of my eyes on both sides here to give me more of that lifted look. I'm also going to be applying this on my chin and my smile lines and my forehead and then I'll just be adding a little bit more contour on my jawline just to give me more of that facelift look. Next, I'm going to be going in with a little bit of my MAC Studio Fix Foundation, and this is in the shade NC45.5. I'm not going to be using a lot of this today because, once again, we're going for that clean girl natural effect, so I'm just going to be putting a little bit on my face, on my cheeks, my chin, and my forehead. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare. Now I'm just going in with my Rare Beauty blush, and this is in the shade Joy. Now I'm just going to be applying my Fenty Beauty contour stick in the shade Truffle. I'm just going to be applying this on my cheek my forehead and also my inner eye area going down my nose just to give it more of a contoured look today i'm actually going to be applying a little bit of this on my jawline i do want to give it more of a sharp look so i'm just going to apply a little bit on both sides blend 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 make sure this is blended out very well Today I'm just using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Translucent Honey and I'm just going to be using this Morphe brush to pat this under my eyes. 
Now to finish this look up, I'm just going to be spraying my setting spray. I am using the Charlotte Tillsbury setting spray. I did decide last minute that I want to give myself more of a highlighted look, so I am going in with this Rare Beauty liquid highlighter in the shade Mesmerize. And now I'm just going to be patting this in with my fingers. And finally, to finish this look up, I'm just going to be applying my NYX Butter Gloss. I do just want a little bit of a light pink effect. Um, and this is in the shade Angel Food Cake. So finally, to bring this whole look together, you're definitely not feeling like a clean girl if you're not smelling like one. So we are going to go in with this perfume called Good Girl by Carolyn Herrera. And I love the scent. It feels very soft, very pretty, and it's definitely a statement in the room when you're wearing it.